Welcome to my road to glory in FC24. A brand new journey for the new Ultimate Team like never before. I'm going to be trying to beat FIFA every day on this account with spending nothing on the game and I'm going to show you how to do that. For cheap and fast, reliable FC24 coins, check out MMOEXP, the link is down below, and use the code MATHD to get 5% off all of your orders. Now, I will be live streaming my Road to Glory every day at half 9 a.m. on Twitch. So here we go. Firstly, how do you get the best start in a new FIFA with spending nothing on the game? First thing you actually want to do, guys, when you do go into Autumn Team on a brand new account, change your settings because you don't want to start your first game with terrible camera angle. Also, make sure you have time finishing on, guys. It's a big tip right there. Okay, Autumn Team, let's go. Okay, I'm going to go with Brazil as my start and nation in my new road to glory guys remember i'm not spending anything on the game so this has to be a zero fc point rtg first pack of the year and i get arthur 78 rating there is my starter team guys so three brazilian players there they are good to go i'm gonna add a striker that's what you want to do when starting ultimate team i'm probably gonna add Martinez. Not really great for chemistry, but great striker card. I can't deny that. Okay, now what you want to do, man, as well, is always choose an expensive kit to begin with. Two expensive kits. That way you can quick sell them. I think PSG and... Oh, what a lovely kit from Norway. They always have a great kit. Arsenal on the RTG. That works well. And then I'll go with PSG. And I think Arsenal is an option again. Right, there you go. We are ready. No, we're not doing points on this account at all. Okay, I've got founder rewards. Now, I do believe founder rewards can get me some quick objectives done. Now, we're in the ultimate team men menu. Here we go. Now, I know that last year I didn't do a road to glory, but they are back for this FIFA, guys. I'm excited to get into this one and more than ever, especially with evolutions now you might be asking matt what are your goals for this road to glory i want to get to the top of the top in division rivals so the elite division as fast as possible i want to do amazing in foot champions i want to have one of the best clubs in the world from a road to glory first owner rtg as well can't forget there are so many exciting possibility with things like evolutions maybe we can do a Liverpool only evolution for this account. I've already seen Gravenberch. He looks insane. So we've got a lot of possibilities, guys. But as always, it's your road to glory. You've got the choices here to which players I want to buy, which teams to build. So let's get into it. Now, a big tip I would give you guys on a zero spent FIFA account is when you're doing something like Welcome to Evolutions here, try and start off with actually evolving a striker, as they are for me the most important position in any FC24 Ultimate Team. You need a striker who will bang you goals. So maybe we can start off with evolving someone like Nunes. I do need a good striker, obviously. Now, first pack of this new Road to Glory FC Founders pack. What have I just got here, man? Come on. Okay, I think we get the kit and a badge. These also do give you objectives, guys. So definitely go into objectives, claim your reward after I've been three games and you get some decent rewards. And there you go. Now I can activate them as the kits. Store that in the club. FC Founders Evolution. There you go. Now, first things first, guys. I'm going to try preview pack because why not? Imagine we get a walkout. Go on, be Harry Kane. Um... Callum Wilson. Don't think he's worth 7k, but I'll check. He's a thousand coins, guys. That pack was not worth it. Okay, straight into objectives. I go with this new account, guys. Also, don't worry. I will be doing the 24-hour road to glories, 12-hour RTGs, all that good stuff again this year. But this is my main road to glory. This will be uploaded every morning as well on YouTube, guys, at about 11 a.m. and streaming at half nine. So do check that out. Okay, so we can actually get some okay packs here relatively quickly. 5,000 XP there, 80 plus 10 rare gold pack as well however i really think i do need to do this nike mad ready objective pretty quickly as well there's an 83 plus two pack there which i'll definitely lock as well there is so much to do guys early on it's unbelievable now the first trading tip i'm going to give you guys and it's a bit of a long haul on this but it'll make you some early coins and it is to quite simply bid on good nation bronze strikers there for 150 coins sell them for two to 250 coins it'll make you maybe 50 to 100 coins per card in profit we can help you out guys the next sniping filter is again with bronze players here and again i'm showing you how to make coins here without spending any fc points guys and especially in that zero coins to 10,000 coin price range this could be good for you it's simply 400 coins max by now premier league bronze quality filter sell them for potentially 200 coins more at 600 coins and that is again some nice profit man i mean look at that 
the 350 coins there for Osula. He can sell for 600 coins. This is a really nice filter right now. But saying that, I actually need to try it for myself. I haven't even got to a game yet, guys, in this Road to Glory. So let's head over to my club. Let's go to Stadium. And this is the big part about starting a new account, guys. So PSG, I'll put as FC Founder. I actually do need, need to do this anyway. I'll put on the FC Founder Away Kit and then FC Founder Home Kit as well. That's perfect. Let's go. Now, that means I can now sell the PSG kit. That's great. Is that really a 1,000 coins? Wow. The Arsenal kit is a 1,000 coins as well. So we might make 2K there really quickly. If not, we can quick sell, but I'd rather sell, honestly. It baffles me why I can't search for this kit specifically, guys. Um, have I done something wrong there? I can't believe you can't search for a kit. That's really weird. So I'll place this on the transfer list for about 900 coins it might sell for that i don't know i mean i can't even search for it man same could be said for arsenal there i'll put it on for 600 coins it's fast coins that means we can then do some sniping and then i will just quick sell the psg badge that way i've got coins so that's how you want to make guys your first thousand coins and i've just sold the arsenal kit let's go psg kit should sell there's a current bid already of 450s that's perfect man remember guys this is going to be my main account for actually playing ultimate team this fifa so we need to make a good start now i'm already at 1055 coins so that's a very very nice start man i'll always take that okay i've sniped this english center back from the premier league let's check how much he's going oh go on and straight away the cheapest on the market is 550 so Already, guys, I made some, you know, okay profit there to kick things off. This is how you want to start FC24, though. Do these quick sniping filters. You'll just be off to a flying start, man. The thing is, someone who is a lazy buyer on FC24 will definitely go and buy that card. So no matter what, I will make profit there. Oh, 250. This is why this filter is brilliant. We nearly got Kim Ji Su for 350. Come on, man. Let's get it. The good thing is loads of players are appearing here. So go and use this filter, guys. Get some easy coins. It's really nice. Okay, just snipe parks for 400 coins. Cheaps on the market is 500. So we can probably sell them for that. It's a few hundred coins again. Okay, I've already unlocked four objectives. That's a very, very nice start here. There you go. 200 coins. I'll take it. And we get some more coins from buying those players. So it's overall a nice start, man. Now, someone just sold, guys. So we get some, uh, you know, profit. We made 100 coins profit there. Maybe a bit less after the attacks. But again, it all adds up to the club. Okay, first actual pack is a bronze pack. All of these cards will be amazing for the bronze pack method though and even SPCs later on down the line. I can wait to see what team I'm going to have guys after like a few more days of playing this game. I can't wait guys. Right, something else is sold. Let's go. Right, he sold as well. I'm making some nice coins here. It's only a few hundred coins so far but this works. Oh, let's go. 350 coins for this bronze beast. McAvoy from Fulham. Cheapest card on the market as I think 500 coins. So again, it's quite literally profit, guys. He should sell for that, and that is probably more than 100 coins, so that's a good start. Okay, now I've shown you guys a few sniping filters. However, always check for position sniping filters as well. This can be a good one, especially when there's, like, SBCs coming out. But even early on, you know, gold right back Premier League could be good, or left back, for example. Always be on the lookout for player prices as well. Try and familiar yourself, guys, with the market. It's so vital this year. However, I need to start SBCs. Here we go. Massive part of any road to glory we need to unlock this then we can actually start grinding the 100k packs as well there's so much to do man okay i'll get these spcs done really quickly then i've unlocked every single spc in the game so that's actually amazing and there you go i can now complete every spc in fc24 I do get foundations completed there, guys. And I think I'm about to have my first potential players who will start in my ultimate team. Oh, let's go. We just made profit again on McAvoy. So nearly at 2,000 coins here, guys. Just some trading on FIFA. So, so easy. The PSG kit will also sell. Don't forget that. Okay, silver pack from completing the foundation SBC. I do get a bunch of silvers who... Oh, another one as well who will actually go into some nice SPCs. However, that silver pack is huge. Tradable, huge tip here, guys. Whenever you get one of these silver packs that you're probably not gonna use any of the items, just sell them. You get more coins than you would if you were to quick sell. This guy, for example, is probably at least 500 coins. So that is actually really lucky there that we just got this guy. This card is also about 600 coins. So I'll try and sell him for around about 500 coins, guys. That should actually work really well. I get 500 coin bonus, which is amazing. And then I can actually just list these contracts. That will make me... I mean, look at that. If I was to quick sell all these items, I'd make five, five, four coins. However, if I go and sell these all on the market, I'll probably make double that if I can sell them. Hopefully someone can buy these. I mean, I'm really hoping someone buys these silver contracts. Come on. Okay, now is the big one. 
two, wait, are these, one of them rare? Uruguay left back, who have I just got there? That is La Liga, Real Vallecano, and it's Espino and then Munir. Both of which, by the way, play in La Liga, so they can actually go into my starting 11. Let's go. Never thought we'd be celebrating those kind of players, but here we are. Right, we're above 2K now, guys, already. That's a really, really cool start here. Let's enter the club, make some adjustments for my first team. Okay, let's apply a manager contract and then give our left back as well a contract. That way we can actually complete an objective there. That's nice. Okay, there's the current starting 11. I'm on 13 chemistry, which isn't actually that bad. I've got three objectives completed already. I've got 100 coins, training item as well, and a few more nice upgrades there. So that's actually a really, really cool addition to the, to the club. 100 coins, I'll take it. Catalyst there for free. And another 100 coins, why not? Now this is where I really would advise you guys to go and look at what you want to do first, right? Now the first one that stands out is weekly objectives. This is just quite literally playing a ton of FC Ultimate Team and just getting loads of XP. So I can definitely, definitely do that. However, Moment seems absolutely brilliant there with a 100k pack from all of these. So that might be a good start, at least to get a few nice packs on the board. Saying that, I've just seen how many moments are in each one, 51, okay. I'm gonna actually leave moments right now. Now this is what I would always advise you guys to do, is actually squad battles for the first few games, then get into rivals once you've got more coins. Reason why, and it's a huge reason why, especially not spending any money on the game, is because of this right here, and that is the assist mastery and finishing. Look at some of the packs that you guys can get here. For 400 assists, you can get a jumbo rare player pack. I really would advise completing all of this in maybe probably six or seven squad battles games on beginner. Get those important goals and you guys can get some crazy packs here. 250 goals does get me there. A jumbo rare player pack, which is nuts, man. It really, really is. So straight away, I think I'm going to target this 75 finesse goals. That is a really cool start, actually. Even 100 goals, man. That is awesome. Right, guys. First goal here of the road. Oh, I need to get assists and then finesse goals, guys. That's what I really need. There's an assist and there is a finesse. So 74 more of them and we get some nice packs. Yeah, there's two. Brilliant. So first game of squad battles, 32 goals scored there. We get quite a few coins, which is brilliant. And all these coins are going to have to add up to get me so many good players, man. Squad battle points as well. And in the founders kit. So I'm doing loads of objectives here at the same time. This is going to be great. Ooh, 2,000 XP. Let's go. Claim reward. Here we go. So lone players. I'm actually going to go for Williamson there from Arsenal. Great card. She can go straight into my club. Perfect. Next up is a premium goal pack. So we might get someone decent from that even more xp here from daily objective so let's go and claim that straight away and a first assist mastery so well on our way here guys to some lovely upgrades and nearly a 4k some more items are just sold and get doing those filters guys they're working really well right now look at that profit everywhere right guys goal pack this is a really cool start though let's get some nice players here canadian be jonathan david no gross so okay they can go into my starting level and improve the team already. Premium gold pack. Let's go. Be someone nice. French striker. Who have I just got? Manchester. Is that uh, Martial? That might be. It is. So that's a really nice addition, guys, to my starting 11 for the road to glory. Let's go. Jumbo gold pack. Oh, that's tradable. You love to see a tradable pack right now. A free pack, this one, guys. Spanish left wing back. It is. I don't know who that is. Who is that? 84 Grimaldo, right, and Bentacor as well. That's a really, really nice pack there for a free pack. He is 3,000 coins, and you know what? I want some coins, so he can go in the market, guys, 3.4, and then so can Bentancor to be, oh, you know what? I might keep him. Yeah, I'll keep him. I'll keep the rest. So now up to 7K, he is actually just sold straight away. That is brilliant. Look at that, guys. Goodbye, Grimaldo. Hello, 7,000 coins. Okay, let's make some nice improvements to the team, man. Okay, the team is a lot better right now. Let's go and grind some more goals. Okay, guys, second game now of score battles, 33 goals scored. I reckon I can probably get to 40 goals if I can. It's more difficult though, obviously this FC Ultimate Team, as they are shorter games, but that's a lot of goals in one game. Brilliant, two red goal pack now, guys. I just need 25 more assists. Sorry, 25 more finesse goals for... Oh no, it's even less, wow. I can get two red mega packs. 
in just that time frame. Wow. 35 goals and then 11 finesse goals. That's amazing. So I'm about to get, guys, some really nice packs here. And this is only the first episode. I'm nearly at 10k as well, which is perfect without even doing much trading there. Got to get 35 goals this one, though, so I can't miss any opportunities, man. So, guys, I've just completed four games of squad battles. Trust me, you don't want to see all those goals in a gameplay video. You really don't. So, I've got all that done. I'm now up to 13.6k. Has something sold for me on the market? That's a huge jump. Eight objectives and then four items are sold. So, the PSG gets sold for 500 coins. That sold for 600 coins. Wow, I'm stunned. And then 4,000 coins. What? Someone I think has just maybe made a mistake. Unless that is actually that expensive. That's absolutely bizarre. Comment down below, guys, if you know more about that. I don't know what just happened there. Maybe someone's done that. Unless it's really pricey. Um, this did not this did not sell. Still got a lot to sell there though, but that is crazy. 13 and a half K even more there from this first video of the day guys on the road to glory first episode however i have now got eight objectives now to claim i've got a player pick and then a tifo there i think to claim that's pretty cool here we are though first player pick of the new rtg on fc24 come on give us something please someone nice come on Oh, that is nice. 83 right wing, four star, five star. She can go straight into the team, actually. That's a really cool card. Okay, now I've actually got a few more things here to claim. I have got 1,250 XP there, guys, straight away into the club, which is perfect. Oh, here we go. 80 plus 10 or an 84 plus two pack. I'm going to risk it, guys. 80 plus 10. I just feel like we might get something good from that. But that is a lot of XP from just playing FIFA, guys. Honestly, amazing. However, here is the big one. Assist Mastery. I've got a TIFO there or a badge there, I believe. It is a pitch trophy. There is the big one. Finishing Mastery. Two rare mega packs in episode one of this RTG. This is amazing, guys. It really, really is. And that is everything there. I've just... Oh, no. I'm missing one item. What am I missing here? Oh, 78 plus two pack. Okay, that could be nice. Here we go, then, my friends. Five good packs here to open. First one is a two rare gold pack. Goalkeeper might be... It is Ospina. And then Antonia Silva. Nice right back card to have this year. Okay, quality card. However, what are we going to get in the next one? So we've got a 78 plus 2 pack. Be a walkout. What have I just got there? That could be a walkout, guys. Um, Luke Shaw. Definitely not good enough for a walkout. Again, though, nice upgrade to the team. He would work in this squad, so I'll take it, man. Here we go. 80 plus 10 pack on the road to glory. Spanish centre mid. Liverpool. Oh, is that walkout? Is Thiago walkout? Please. 84. Okay, still have not got our first walkout, guys, of the series. I know it's the first episode, but still. However, we do get a lot of gold rares, though. I mean, he can go in the team. We've got some lovely upgrades here to my squad here, you know. This is nice. However, 60 items are about to arrive into my club. Hopefully, one of them can be someone nice. Centre-back, Sweden. Arsenal. Who have I just got? Oh, is that a walkout? Hold on. 80... Four. Again, we're getting close to our first walkout here, guys. We get Toon, though, who could really work in the team. She's got five star skill moves. I've also got a bunch of my United cards there. And to be honest, I might be adding a lot of these women cards to my starting 11 for this Road to Glory. That is a cool start. Here we go, though. This one. Come on. German. CDM. He came up. Come on. Is that walkout? Yes. First walkout, guys. Oh. The new zero spent road to glory is Joshua Kimmich. Let's go. John Stone's in the same pack as well. That is a banging pack right there. Bro, these Juventus cards are amazing. They're so good. She's got 92 pace, man. We are going to make some outstanding upgrades here, guys. We really are. Loads of contracts there as well. That is amazing. How much is uh, John Stone's, by the way? He's 6k. Kimmich, I'm guessing, is like 20k. So, nice upgrades here, man. Really good upgrade. That grind 
is definitely worth it. I really advise doing that, guys. So with that being said, let's update the team right now. Okay, I'm going to add John Stone to centre-back there. That should be good for chemistry. Goalkeeper. Have I got a Premier League goalkeeper? That'd be nice. Blacken works well. Got to replace Arthur now, though. Maybe Kimmich can go there, potentially. 24 chemistry already is nice. However, can we get more chemistry here? That'd be nice. I'll add in Bonasse there and then add the left-back from the same club. I think that might do well. 22 chemistry, okay. Then I think I can add Martial, which is nice. We can. He should be good. 26 chemistry, guys. There is my starting 11 after, I mean, I want to say one hour and 40 minutes of playing FC23. That is a good start, guys. Okay, there you go. The bench is actually pretty stacked right now as well. I'm actually going to start Luke Shaw at centre-back. And there's 27 chemistry, so I'll go with that. What a great starting 11. I need to improve my left mid position, guys. That is an absolute must-do. So, comment down below guys which player should i buy next for my road to glory i'm going to call it my zero spent rtg we've done zero tier a lot in the past but i want to start something new right we want to have a fresh start here i've got 14,000 coins in the club join me on my streams guys that's why i'll be streaming live the road to glory as well i need your help and hopefully this can be a very special road to glory in fc24